I'm Brenda and today I'm going to show you how to make the copper cathedral earrings. I used the following components when I made these earrings. A pair of copper ear wires, two pieces of three millimeter check fire polished in cobalt, two pieces of four millimeter check fire polished in cobalt, two pieces of check bronze antique octagonal beads in cobalt, two pieces antique copper five millimeter coil beads, two pieces of antique copper eight millimeter beaded diamond frames, two copper plated eye pins, and two copper plated head pins. The tools I used are a pair of chain nose pliers, a pair of flat nose pliers, a pair of round nose pliers, and a flex wire cutter. The techniques I used can be found on our website are creating a simple loop and attaching charms and components. Why don't you try it? The Copper Cathedral earrings are the perfect blend of contemporary beauty and vintage style that will add understated yet discernible class to almost any ensemble. First, slide the check bronze antique octagonal bead onto one of the head pins, and then bend the head pin to a 90 degree angle. After that, cut the head pin with the flex wire cutter, leaving about a quarter of an inch. Then, grasp the bead firmly, and using your round nose pliers, twist the length of the head pin into a loop. You can then set this piece aside for the time being. Next, take an eye pin and slide it into one of the holes of the antique copper beaded diamond frame. And though you continue to push it through, you do not slide it through the second hole in the frame. Yet. Then slide the 4mm check glass fire polish round bead, the antique copper coil bead, and the 3mm check glass fire polish bead onto the head pin. In that order. Now here is the slightly tricky part. Slide the eye pin back, but not all the way out. Make sure you keep the three beads on it. Then push it back in, this time letting the pin slide out through the second hole in the frame. Now, once again, bend the pin to a 90 degree angle and make a cut using the flex wire cutters, leaving about a quarter of an inch. You then use your round nose pliers and once again form a loop. Next, use a pair of pliers to slightly open the original loop you made on the octagonal bead and attach it to the loop that is closest to the 4mm check fire polish bead extending from the frame. Then, take a piece of the ear wire, slightly open the other end of the loop and attach the ear wire to the frame. Now simply repeat the process for the second earring. And there you have it, a pair of earrings with timeless beauty, all in just a few minutes. Remember, for more jewelry design ideas, as well as technical tips and tricks, and all of your beading supply needs, visit brightlingbeads.com.